So here's my soup from last night. I'm going to take a small batch so that when I get there and get set up, I can throw that on the stove and that'll warm up and that'll give me lots of energy and warm me up so I can continue to film for you guys. So I bet you were thinking, wait a minute, I got a pot like that. That lid never stays on. Why is he putting the soup in a pot like that to trek all the way to some cliff in the middle of nowhere? Well, the honest answer is I don't have an algae for it. I forgot. So this is my solution. Uh, put in a garbage bag and I wouldn't be a true Canadian if I didn't have hockey tape with me. So this looks ridiculous, but this should do the job because I really don't want it to spill everywhere. And I can't believe I forgot a container for it to transport there. So it's gonna be bouncing around on the uh, sled. So this should solve the problem. If not, I'll have a garbage bag full of soup. This video is sponsored by Algonquin Pines Campground, the perfect jump off point for all your Algonquin Park adventures. And Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. The nice thing is I got my snowshoes off on a trail that's obviously been used by snowmobiles. So it's packed down a little bit, which is nice. Eventually I'll have to get off it and put my snowshoes back on. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, should have took the snow pants off. I still might do that. It's a little warm. Whew. Of course, Scout's far ahead of me. Don't get too close, Scout. Don't get too close. Well, I think it was worth it. Whew, what do you think, Scout? What do you think, huh? That's pretty awesome. Okay. This is camp for the night. I think it was worth the hike. I didn't bring a shovel. I am not shoveling. I'm going to pat this down with my snowshoes, get a firm base, and then set the, set the tent up. I don't really know what's under here, but. Uh, I'm gonna have a nice view of that. Yeah, very cool. 
yeah, it's a pretty awesome campsite. Okay, what do you think, huh? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to, let me have to add some of this stuff. I've used, I can always use my snowshoes as a shovel if I need to level it out. I might take some, uh, take a little construction work going on here. I'll be able to take these off, so I'm at this down a bit. A ton of snow here. So I have my three meter bell tent, which is nice and small, perfect for me and Scout and stove. There's lots of firewood around here, that's not going to be an issue. Amazing, even with snowshoes, how you can just fall so far down in the snow. Right. I want to get this through close to the edge. Just good. I do not want to go get that. Picking up here would be good. Seems like there's a bit of a slope here. I'm gonna go too far. But uh, maybe I can have the door here and the tent there. That's uh, that make for a pretty awesome view. Let's see, or maybe a lower part here. That's about the limit. And it's all, all down here from there. That's about the limit too. This really is low, so where the camera is, is probably where I'm going to put my tent, nice high spot. This dips down way too low. I'm going to be able to have a decent night's sleep. So, I think I'm just going to pack that. There'll be kind of a, a bit of a dome. But I'll, I'll gear it up so the stove's going to be on the... My stove pipe is on the left side, so my stove will be there. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it'll be good. Very good. Hey Scouter, what you think? Hey, eh? we'll get the tent up now. And uh, yeah, get the tent going on the stove. I know, the scout's gonna get cold. So I get her, her pad set up and everything else and um, that should be good. Roll around there, Scouter. I've been walking around here for a while. There's no way the snow's getting any more packed. So I think I can walk on it with my boots and set the 
pent up. It's got a nice place to stay warm. Yeah, we gotta get some firewood. An absolute dream campsite. Absolute dream campsite. So there's my stove. Again, I did this in the first trip, so there's my stove. A bag with some sleeping bags and stuff in it. Those are the gloves I was wearing. And that's my tent. <clears throat> so, time to get that set up. Get these snowshoes off. They'll sink in. What you gonna do? Seriously, I spent 15 minutes walking on this. It's still sinking into it. Oh, well, if you've been watching my channel. The last video I made with my three meter tent was basically how it was done with canvas tents. And uh, I'll get into it in a bit, but uh, basically this had ripped. And uh, I had left it up and it's a long story. If you want to watch the video, I'll put a link there. But this is it, it's back. I fixed it myself. I sewed, uh, I sewed it um, good as new. And that's what I'll be using on this trip. Just thought it kind of required a, uh, hey, guess who's back sort of moment. Um, I don't know if this is good or bad, but I want to put the floor down. I just think it'll be easier on a scout. And I think it might take away from the uh, kind of post hole issue I've got going on with the snow here. So, I don't know whether it's right or wrong. We'll see, I guess. Small tent floor. I think got a lot of tents. I'm going to label them all. Supposed to be supposed to be painter's tape. Supposed to come off easy, but sure it's not. And again, I like having the floor down because it gives me a kind of a guideline where everything's gonna get set up at. And this is the same as my big tent. The canvas just zips into it. Oh, it's going to require some more snowshoes, I think. So with my bigger tent, I was able to dig down to the bottom and get to solid ground where I could put the steel stakes in to guy out the uh, the lines for the tent. There's so much snow here, I'm not going to do that tonight, so I'm just going to break off and cut off some, uh, some long limbs and use those as stakes and they'll just go into the snow and that'll be enough support. It's a small tent. Oh, the snow is going to fall down on myself. There's so much snow, I'm still sinking a little bit. I've tried to pack it down as much as I can. I'm still fine with it. I mean, if I would have shoveled 
shoveled it down, it's a waste of my time because who knows what's under here. I keep waving this stick around, I'm tormenting Scout, she's been trying to chew on it. But I need it for, I need it for the... Especially right, the stove's gonna be right here, should be fine. I do wish it was a little firmer. But, I, there's no way I can improve it, so this is what we gotta work with. No, you can't chew on the stick. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There's a million sticks. Go chew, go find another one. The ironic thing about these sticks, stop it, is that it's got to be thin enough to go through the eyelet, but yet strong enough that you want it to, to actually go deep enough into the ground. And these uh, spruce trees have these little strong little branches come out of them. And to hit him with an axe, you gotta hit him hard enough and sometimes these break. It's way more difficult than it really needs to be. But it's just time consuming. And the scout wants to eat them. Okay, so no. So we'll put one in here. So that'll be okay, leave it. So that's gonna be the boundary for that. So there's guidelines I'm going to have to run. I have some extra paracord with me. I don't know how I'm going to attach those. I may have to go down there and tie them to a tree or something. I don't really have much of a choice. some steaks. Surprise. Okay. I have some guidelines. I'm definitely going to have to tighten this up a little bit. So this is the area here that I'm most concerned about. Snow is very deep. It's pulling up my peg, but if I if I pull this one back, it should be good. So the bottom ones have a metal D-ring, so you can only get certain size stick through it. But the guidelines, I can just use the big stick. So. And I can pack snow on it later too, which will help. Put some snow on there to pack that's better.
got some work to do still. So for this one here, I can't shorten it up enough. I need the stick to be about right here. And it's all deep snow and it's the edge of the rocks right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the stick kind of, I don't know, just about right there. I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm wrap this around the stick. This would be the end I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna loop it through here. Pull that through. Just got her in the way. Just got her over here. And there we go. So now I've just kind of basically doubled it up. I'm gonna move the stick a little bit. There we go. And put the stick, just got her move, please. Put the stick at a sharp angle. You don't have to, not like regular camping was in the ground. You put it in a sharp angle. And then I'm gonna kick some snow on it. And we're gonna build that up, put some snow on top of that. Not really good at shoveling with my snowshoes, but you get the idea. I'll come back and stamp that down with some more snow. And it'll be pretty good. So the tent is as set up as it's going to be. The bottom stakes are not that important. It's guided out pretty solidly. It's set up pretty solid from the other guide lines. So now I'm going to take these snowshoes off, get our air mattresses set up, and give place the scouts to lie down while I'm doing other stuff. Got the stove to put up still, but I'm gonna still get the uh, pads up for scout. So this is the scout's pad. What I do is I just, I don't inflate it like I normally would if I was lying on it. So I fold it in half, stay there. Then I have a rectangular sleeping bag. I'll just tuck it into. So that protects the pad so her, she doesn't scratch a hole in it. Gives it more warmth. So 
Because no matter how much I try to wrap her up at night, she always moves around. There we go. Instant doggy bed. And this can this can kind of go basically underneath it as extra insulation. Scatter. There you go. Right there. Good girl. Good girl. So, nice and cozy. And she'll be there for most of the time now. Good girl. Good girl. So I actually lied. Where I had scout originally, that's where the stove's going to be. So she's going to be there. And I'm going to be... My pad will be over that way. And the stove will be there. So speaking of the stove, that's what I'm going to put in next. So I really wasn't planning on using this tent again and I have a video where this part of the fabric tore away from this and it was uh, it was damaged and I was a little concerned about um, sewing it to be honest with you but I mean I just really didn't have any plans on using the tent again but I did sew it I repaired it myself I bought one of those owls or owls whatever the term is I'll show you uh, I think I have it at home so yeah I sewed it myself and it's worked great and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to use it to, in a location like this. So, yeah, it's worked out really good.
Keeps getting more holes in it every trip. It's a good chair though. I enjoy the view. Might have to wear my snow pants later on though. It's supposed to get much colder. And some snow. It's supposed to get a lot of snow, so we'll see. Okay, all the heavy lifting's done. It's time for a beer. Dinner is set. My uh, I'm happy to report that my hockey tape held up. My split pea soup is still in the container. So I'm gonna heat that up over the stove for dinner. This guy's got some chicken. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to make uh, some special French toast over the stove. You don't wanna see that, it's uh, a special recipe. Oh, but I'm gonna take a lull in the weather here and have this beer because I know that um, some weather's coming, it's getting colder and uh, supposed to be getting some snow, so enjoy this while I can. Because doing all this, you start sweating and stuff, so it's nice to have a beer and cool down and relax. And then the hot soup will be good later once I've been settled in and I need something warm. Right now I've been moving around and I need a break. Pretty amazing view though. True, uh, true wilderness. I mean, I got the drone up there to show you truly where I am. It's, uh, it's awesome. Just awesome. There's nothing like winter camping. Solitude, peace and quiet. In this part of Canada, it's nice not to have to, to worry about black bears. So hanging food and that sort of thing. There's wolves and deer. I've seen some deer already. Moose. But uh, not really worried about any of those, and especially wolves. They're, they keep to themselves. Oh, and Scout never leaves me. So she's, always, she's in, uh, on her bed right now there, wrapped up. She loves it though, it gets lots of exercises and she's like a dolphin going through the snow, it's so deep. Yeah, the wind's really picking up. The snow's starting to come down now. Who knows what we'll wake up to? So my pea soup held up, good old hockey tape, never fails. Yeah, held up pretty good. Cause this lid is uh, horrible for not staying on. Here we go. Split pea soup with a smoked ham hock in there. I don't know if you caught my video before this when I made this in my big tent, but it's awesome. So I'm gonna heat it up for there. That's gonna simmer. That's gonna be dinner. Oh, it smells so good. Nice fire going in there.
Ooh. Look at that. That is the best split pea soup you're ever going to have. So if you missed my previous video, I made this split pea soup in my kind of main canvas tent setup when I embarked on this journey. So if you didn't watch that video, you can check it out and how I made it over um, an open fire using my cast iron Dutch oven. It turned out really good. Mm. Oh, so good. It just uh, makes sense to have a nice, hearty, hot soup in the middle of the wilderness, surrounded by three feet of snow on the edge of a little cliff. It just seems logical. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't even need a sleep bag tonight. Well, it's been a good day. I'm gonna finish this soup, and Scout and I are gonna do some chores around here, and we're gonna see you guys back in the morning. Good night. So what a treat to wake up to this, huh? It actually wasn't snowing all night. It just started snowing uh, early this morning. And it just goes to show you how much snow can come down here. It was coming down pretty good earlier. I debated to get the camera out, but uh, I thought better of it. It slowed down a little bit here, but I got the drone up and show you some amazing footage of, of where I am and the scenery around here. It's just gorgeous. But uh, it's time to, uh, to work on breakfast now. I found that when you're splitting wood, instead of using a piece of wood as a tomahawk, you actually get more leverage. You take it and you put it, go, go down on it. It's so much more powerful to cut through wood. If you try it, you'll, you'll see. Taste the French toast already. Right. 
Okay, fire's going. Time, the water's on. Time to make some coffee. Got my grinder that my daughter got me for Christmas. Got some coffee from my buddy Barry from Fire Nice Outdoors. He hits his coffee bunny sent me, 803 Outpost. Um, check him out, it's uh, obviously sends it through the mail. It's great stuff. He's the guy that made me the uh, Adrenaline Adventures bushcraft knife, uh, which I love. So I'm gonna grind myself some coffee. Got a little bit in here already. It's enough for one cup. I fill up my Yeti with coffee and I'm good. Okay. There we go. Just like that. It's done. So here's my my super suit. There we go. Okay, so coffee grinds. Oh, delicious. This um, I also got from Barry Ashley. Sent me some really cool stuff. But this is what I use to uh, drip my coffee. Top of there. Need a filter, of course. But oops. Okay, so that's gonna go on top of there. I gotta find somewhere to do this so I don't spill my coffee, so bear with me. But you'll get the idea. That goes on there. Coffee filter there, coffee in there. Okay, secret is apple cinnamon bread. A little frozen, but look at that. So we're gonna use that for the French toast. Maybe three slices. Hopefully I can get three slices in that fry pan. Save a little bit for later. That's apple right there on top. Mmm, very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip the bread into the egg and milk wash, fry it up on the pan with some butter, with some maple syrup, Bob's your uncle. Takes a while to heat this up. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to put some butter in here. Put these things in here. Probably only get two in there. You get three? Maybe. Uh, the secret is trying to regulate the heat. Apple cinnamon French toast on the edge in a small canvas tent with my dog. Not a bad way to go. Not, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Apple cinnamon, whew, apple cinnamon French toast. Put those right on there. Look at that, eh? Fry pan, we're gonna throw that right there. Cause I'm starving. It's gonna be warm, but need a little butter. Oh man. <laughs> oh, and some Canadian maple syrup. Can't forget that. Okay. We're going to eat this breakfast and Take a little bit of rest and we're gonna have to pack up. Oh, I actually use a, I use paper towels when it's snowing to cover my camera. It actually does a pretty good job. So anyways, I'm gonna finish this up. Scout and I are gonna pack up and get out of here. We both appreciate you joining us on this adventure. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you along. We got another one in the books. Cheers. Mm.